The DFL response came in the form of a counter rally held while Trump was delivering his speech. All Trump wants to do is make it harder for us, for our kids and for our grandkids to make a living, get health care coverage and get ahead. And he's in Duluth today recruiting Republican candidates like Pete Stauber to help him stick it to you. At tonight's Blue Wave rally, local lawmakers and activists called for Democrats to keep Minnesota blue during the upcoming election. Well, thousands of others voiced their opposition to Trump by protesting outside the arena. Danny Speedwalk continues our team coverage live with that story. Danny. Well, Julie, Donald Trump's first visit to the state of Minnesota as a sitting president certainly drew a crowd on both sides, as you mentioned. You had the thousands of people that came here to the arena and some of them that got shut out. And then you had protesters that were marching, I would estimate, more than a mile, a half mile to a mile uh, from the Civic Center, the courthouse, uh, all the way down toward the arena and toward the lake, um, showing their opposition to President Trump's policies. Now, after the rally was finished, when the president was done speaking, there was a minor skirmish, I would say. Uh, we observed two people being uh, handcuffed by local police uh, with some pushing and shoving going on between supporters and opponents of the president and some protesters. But that was about it. Other than that, there, were, there really weren't any significant issues. And as for the Donald Trump supporters who were here, as I mentioned, there were a couple of thousand of them that had tickets and couldn't get into the arena. There was a line that was out the door and through the parking garage that was lined up at three o'clock in the afternoon well before the speech started uh, the capacity of the arena is 9,000 there were thousands more that couldn't get in and we spoke to one of them this afternoon it was disappointing but it's not as disappointing as we were like 50 away and it, it probably hurt more for the person right in front of the line but there's a lot behind us too it was a first come first serve sort of thing. That's how these rallies work. So there were people that got tickets. They weren't guaranteed that they would get in. Uh, but, uh, you know, for the, the overall experience, this place was buzzing on both ends, whether you were against the president being here or whether you came here and drove hours to see the president. Uh, there was a, a buzz in Duluth and there was a lot of activity here really throughout the day uh, from the time we got here in the afternoon all the way till the time the rally was over. But now really all quiet here at Amsoil Arena. Back to you. Thank, thank you, Danny.